Okay, so I really just, you know, as unprofessional as this video is, I haven't had exactly a lot of time to make videos, as you guys might have seen with a lack of uploads on the channel. Uh, but that is changing, and I haven't been doing nothing. I have been working on the next episode of Bloody Breakdown, scripting and editing and whatnot. But I did want to just make something uh, somewhat quick today here, just on my phone in my car while I have a little bit of spare time. And I wanted to talk about the Blumhouse film, The Hunt, that was canceled. Its release has been at least postponed for a while at this point in time, and it's it's become a bit of a point of contention amongst a lot of people. And uh, by the way, I do apologize. I'm holding the phone with my hand, so if it's a little shaky, please forgive me. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was, it should this film have been pulled? <clears throat> should it have been pulled? Because there are a lot of things out there that people like to point the blame, uh, the, the finger of blame supposedly at, of why bad things happen or why we have a violent society. <clears throat> but I, I'm, I'm the type of guy to usually kind of rely on the science and what we've studied and what we can observe about how these things happen and how they come about. And just doing a little bit of research, uh, not only this week, but formerly uh, on the topic, there's really no link between things like video games and movie violence to cause actual violence. I refer to uh, Billy Loomis, a.k.a. Skeet Ulrich in Scream, when he says, Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Um, and I do believe that. I don't believe that someone's entire world is going to be turned upside down because of a movie and be uh, moved to the point of doing something that is go not only going to cause their life to change, but to cause another life to change or potentially end. I just don't see that happening. And based on what we know right now, and you, that could change, I'll, I'll cop to that. But I'm the kind of guy who I've always felt like, um, you know, it, it's... There's usually, I, I would think there's something wrong with that person before they um, engaged in that sort of entertainment. Uh, there was something in place beforehand. Uh, and I, I just don't, I, you know, I'm on the side of video games aren't violent. I think that's, you know, from what we know, that's commonplace right now. I say the same thing about films. And even though this film admittedly did, ha did have a lot going on with... Uh, things that are relatable to our current political climate. Blumhouse is kind of known for doing stuff like that. You know, they're kind of known for, uh, you know, Get Out and The Purge, social commentary, social thrillers. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something they do. It's something that I'm fine with them doing. And honestly, I don't think any kind of media or entertainment should be pulled from shelves or theaters or consumption just based on the fact that someone thinks this might call someone to do something. This movie wasn't even out and we saw the mass shootings that went down and it's been blamed on both sides of the political spectrum. The movie didn't even exist and it still happened. So, you know, what do you blame then? Oh, I forgot. We blamed the video games for that one. It's just, uh, you know, to wrap up, I guess I'll say this. It's interesting that we want to tackle so many different things and blame so many different things uh, for causing violence. And, you know, in my own personal opinion, the one thing we never actually do is go after things that could actually help us. Um, and me personally, I'm not trying to have a political argument with anybody on here, but just, you know, my personal opinion, feel free to leave yours in the comments are, uh, you know, some reasonable common sense gun control. Definitely not for all guns being taken or anything like that. Um, I'm fine with people having firearms, responsible, uh, mentally healthy people. And that leads me to, you know, uh, better mental health evaluation in this country. Uh, you know, those are the things that I think would actually make a difference. Not pulling a movie or a video game that's going to be of absolutely no consequence based on what we know about how the human brain works. So yeah, I'm I'm for the movie coming out. I, I know Jason Blum's still saying that he hopes it comes out. There's still potential for it to be released after everything calms down, and I hope it does. I'd like to see it personally. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to dislike if you disagree with what I have to say here. It won't hurt my feelings any. Uh, just be respectful as I feel I have down below in the comment section. I don't want a big political argument going on down there. Um, and yeah, there's links down below too if you'd like to uh, follow me or support what it is I do here on Bloody Breakdown. So I guess with that said, everyone get ready because I'm going to be hitting you with a lot of Bloody Breakdowns here in quick succession. If I possibly can, we got House of a Thousand Corpses coming up this week. Uh, then I'm planning on doing the original 
1990 it and then I'm gonna also try to squeeze in Friday the 13th part 2 before uh, the upcoming Friday the 13th in September so I got a lot of work ahead of me just wanted to put this out there have some content on the channel and talk about something I feel is a bit of an important topic so yeah I'm Brand from Bloody Breakdown and we'll catch you all next time.